Hey guys, this is Warren with KL Gadget TV. So in my previous videos, I have already shown you guys on how you can transfer your WhatsApp data from an Android phone to an iPhone. And those are unfortunately paid solutions. But for now, you no longer need to pay for that anymore because Apple has just announced the support for Move to iOS to support transferring WhatsApp data from an Android phone over to an iPhone. And I'm going to show you guys on how to do it right now. So what I have right over here on the left is the A Asus ROG Phone 6, which I have my WhatsApp data, and on the right is an iPhone 11 running on iOS 15.6. So before you perform the transfer, you got to make sure that your iPhone has been properly been resettered and updated to the latest iOS version. Whereas on your Android phone, you got to make sure that it is upgraded to the latest version of WhatsApp. So before you do anything else, make sure you got to make a backup of uh, WhatsApp on your Android phone just in case anything happens, you know. And you got to make sure that when you transfer over to an iPhone, it is the same phone number, all right? So let's do the transfer right now. So currently, to make things simple, I have a cleared all my WhatsApp chats and I've sent a couple of data uh, right over to this uh, spare WhatsApp number right over here so that we just want to make sure that all the data gets copied properly, all right? So the first step that you need to do is to download the Move to iOS app from Google Play. So I've already had it installed on the ROG Phone 6 already, which is right over here. Move to iOS, all right? So next on your iPhone, let's tap on Move Data from Android. So you will eventually reach this step when you set up your iPhone for the first time or after you have reset your iPhone. So let's just tap on Continue. And here is the code. So make sure all these two devices are uh, connected to the same Wi-Fi connection if possible. And when you're gonna tap on connect, Continue Next on your Android device, agree. Don't send anything to Apple, continue. And let's type this code. 895863. All right, so there you go. Easy peasy. So after you have entered the code, there is a WhatsApp uh, selection over here. Finally, uh, we are we were not able to do that previously because it was still on beta, which is why you can't see that selection, right? So after you tap this uh, selection, immediately it goes to this move chats to iOS screen. So um, we are going to tap on start and it's done because it's just a, a single chat only if you have a lot of chats and data expect that to be a little longer so let's just tap on next and when we are done let's tap on continue so apparently i have 5.4 megabytes of data which i assume that's all my photos and and chats and voice messages and let's tap on continue next so it is currently transferring from my android device and when the transfer is complete I'm just going to continue setting up the iPhone and we'll talk about it in later when I install WhatsApp on the iPhone. Now, after setting out your Apple ID on the iPhone and proceeding through the rest of the steps, you will find the WhatsApp icon on the second page here. So once you tap on it, it is not downloaded yet. So you've got to view it in App Store. And after that, you just got to tap on the download button here or the install button should you haven't installed WhatsApp before using the Apple ID. So once it's done, just press open agree and continue so you got to make sure to enter the same phone number that you registered back on your android device otherwise this transfer will not work now at this point i would recommend switching your sim over to your iphone so that you can just simply copy the uh, verification code over to whatsapp but no matter uh, since we have received it on another phone i'm just going to enter the code manually inside 804903 and it's validating right now should work and we are seeing this move chance to android screen again and we're going to tap on start okay we're going to start to um, import the chats and allow access to our photos importing next All right i'm just going to type my name here press on done voila there you go let's see whether everything appears as it should right here so here's my text it, it appears successfully uh, some of the photos that I sent to this number well it showed up pretty well even for videos yep videos work as well and finally a file that I sent through whatsapp does it work yep it worked brilliantly so yep that's how you can transfer whatsapp from android over to ios simply using the move to ios 2. So even though this might be the best free solution for transferring your WhatsApp on Android over to iPhone, there are still some disadvantages such as 
if you want to change your phone number when you're using your iPhone, you can't do that because unfortunately it will only support the current number that is on your Android phone. So if you want to do that, the only way is to kind of just re-deregister your phone number after you have successfully transferred it and register with a new phone number. Otherwise, you can use some of the paid tools that we mentioned in our previous videos to do that, but there is of course a fee to pay for. And the other disadvantage is that if you already have um, all your apps and everything move over to your iPhone and you just simply want to move some chats over from your other Android phones over here you just can't simply do that and you have to reset your entire iPhone to just move uh, data from your WhatsApp Android over to WhatsApp on iPhone but of course if you want to do that you gotta go for the paid solution so yeah it's not the perfect uh, WhatsApp transfer solution but if you want it for free this is it, the move to iOS 2 now finally supports WhatsApp transfer from Android to iOS. So that's it for this quick guide on transferring WhatsApp on Android over to iOS. Stay tuned for more videos coming right up on the channel. Be sure to follow us on social media and I'll see you guys in our next one.